Hi guys, it's John from Creative Tap, um, and welcome to this tutorial where I'll be showing you how to create geometry from an Illustrator file, basically by copy and pasting paths. Um, now, what we'll be creating is this little sort of Avengers logo. So I'm going to delete this. <coughs> delete. Um, and if I drag my um, Illustrator file across, you can see what I've got is two paths in here which I've created to create this um, this Avengers logo. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I am going to shift select both of these paths, okay, so drag over them, and I've got them selected. I'm going to control C or command C if you're on a Mac, and they're copied to my clipboard now. Now if I come into Maya, all I need to do is go to create and SVG, okay, and it'll give me this node, and it's got an exclamation mark because there's nothing there. If I just click paste with that still on my um, clipboard, you'll now see that I have this logo in here that's created from it and you know there's nice edge flow there's no sort of like um, when you used to do it you used to get like loads of um, kind of think of the word loads and loads of faces that you didn't need now there is one problem um, it's not completely curved in order to get around that just come to this geometry tab and increase the resolution now it's still a little bit bumpy so I'm going to increase this to about 15 and yeah it's looking rounder now Okay, great. So, um, very, very quickly, from this, we have been able to copy that to our clipboard, create a new node, and we've got this, you know, nice looking, um, I may up the resolution a little bit, uh, well, doesn't matter. Uh, we've got this nice looking logo, which we can go ahead, texture, animate, do loads of stuff with. Um, so, cheers for tuning in. I know it was a very, very quick tutorial, but you can do it with any vec with any SVG. All you need to do, copy and paste the paths, and you'll have your geometry generated. Now, um, I should go into more detail and tell you that um, you can also look at, alter the size, um, you can offset the different paths. Um, let's just turn that back to zero. Um, where's geometry? Um, extrusion. So you can play around with the extrusion distance, stuff like that. Um, so there's more you can do extrusion offset you know so um, and you got divisions as well in case you wanted to have subdivisions in there um, I'm not going to go through it th through it all because go and have a play around you've got bevels so if you want to enable a bevel stuff like that so um, go ahead and play around see what you come up with um, if you can do us a favor leave a comment below telling us what modeling tutorials or Encloth or bifrost or mash tutorials you want to see next because I'm kind of coming up with a list at the moment um, but Give a like, rate, subscribe, check out our other Maya videos. We've got some already on end cloth and modeling, making a bed, making a dinner set. Um, but yeah, cheers for tuning in, and I shall see you in another tutorial.